Hi, welcome to Teen Time at the Crosby Library. Today we're making a DIY Jenga key fob. Some of these items can be picked up at the library. Um, please let us know and we'll bring them out to you curbside. First, we're gonna go over the materials that you'll need. Maj Paj, a paintbrush, key rings, Jenga blocks, screw eyes, and some sort of music and I have maps, music and maps. This is what your finished will look like. First thing you need to do is take a Jenga block and make an X pattern in the top of it using a screwdriver and a hammer and it looks like this. After that, it's easier to put the screw eyes in. And if it gets too hard to twist, take your screwdriver and twist it around. Go ahead and add your key ring. and you're ready to paint your music or your maps paper onto the block. So I'll have these pieces cut out for you when you get here and lay that down on the block. First take the Maj Paj and go over the back of the map for the music paper. And then also add Maj Paj to the back of the Jenga block. from here, you're going to add a generous amount of Maj Paj to the top of the map. And if the map or the music curls, then you need to come back and reapply more glue. And you're going to do this until the map or the music stays adhered to the Jenga block. And you probably want to let this dry at least 24 hours. Then you can come back and do the other side later. I hope you have a fun time doing this craft. We'll see you soon.